For more than 50 years, the Herbert C. Bonner Bridge carried millions of people to their jobs, their schools, and their vacations. Now, a piece of this old bridge has become a new tourist destination itself. And we are very happy today to allow you to go out and enjoy the pier, so have at it. On October 1st, the National Park Service officially opened the Bonner Bridge Pier to the public, and dozens of people were lined up to be among the first to test the waters. I think uh, it's going to be a lot of people using this. It's going to be a good thing for, uh, for the community here. The North Carolina Department of Transportation left the southernmost 1,046 feet of the old bridge in place to control the strong currents here and then retrofitted the remnant with new railings, a handicap accessible walkway, and other repairs to get it ready for the public. NCDOT then partnered with Cape Hatteras National Seashore and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to open it for fishing, strolling, and sightseeing. For local and visiting fishermen, the fee-free pier promises to be another great place to reel them in. But for those who have driven and worked on the old Bonner Bridge, seeing it take on this new life is something special. To provide a facility for them to, 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 to fish and, and enjoy the, the views of Oregon Inlet and to have the remnant Bonner Bridge still in our presence, uh, it, it, it's pretty cool as a highway builder.